Hey everyone, it's Sarah and I am here with my third layout using the Studio Calico Camelot kit. And um, this one is going to be about Layla's first haircut and I'm keeping this one pretty simple. I kind of want the focus mainly to be on the pictures and um, just the little embellishment that I'm going to put on here in a few seconds. Okay, so my background paper there is from Studio Calico and I am putting these two 4x6 pictures of Layla onto a piece of cream cardstock that came in the kit. And I also have a little pink doily there and that um, did not come in the kit that came from Hobby Lobby that I got from my stash. Um, so I'm trying to go through and see what I have <laughs> and figure out what I want to do. I kind of went into this not really having a plan yet, so. Um, I am going to try out a few of these papers here. These are from Studio Calico as well. This came in their Jubilee collection that they um, released a few years ago. It's been a while. And um, I pulled it to use with this kit because this kit did not come with a whole bunch. So I really felt like I needed more stuff to work with. So. Um, I pulled out the stuff from the Jubilee kit and I'm going to use, use up a bit of that kind of stuff as well. But that 8x8 paper that I just put down, the gray polka dot, that came from it. So I'm literally going through and seeing what I want to do. Um, I know I want my title to be first haircut, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done with these really awesome rubber letters from Studio Calico. I love these letters so much. Um, I believe that Seven and Company, which is um, a little branch of Studio Calico, I believe they have some of these in gold, and I need to get my hands on them. Um, but they're not cheap, and <laughs> so I think one package is like $77 or something like that, and I'm like, eh, and then I have to pay for shipping, so it's kind of, it kind of hurts my heart a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Um... Okay, so I'm spelling out the words first haircut, and I'm kind of layering them to see how they're going to fit because I, I like how they're swirly and things like that, and they can kind of um, sit together and kind of go into each other and stuff like that, so I'm trying to see how that's going to work. And I'm going to go ahead and get these down. And like I said, I don't do a ton to this layout, to be honest. I kind of just want the focus to be on the pictures and on um, the little um, embellishment that I'm going to put on. So, But I'm going to go ahead and get these down. And then I'm going to, um, so I'm putting down haircut and I'm going to put first. And it's going to kind of overlap the pictures a little bit. I really like the way that R just kind of sits right in there. And uh, we waited a while to get Layla's haircut because Kaylin's hair is very curly. It's like spiral curly. And we've cut that before and it was fine. You know, the curls didn't go away or anything. Um, but Layla's, I was a little concerned because she doesn't have as curly hair as Kaylin does. Her curls are really only on the ends of her hair. So I was afraid if we cut them off that they would go away. <laughs> but luckily they didn't. So uh, we got her hair cut and she, her hair still curls a bit at the end, but I was very nervous about it. I did not want her cute little curls to go away, so that's why we waited so long. <laughs> okay, so I'm using this little glassine bag, and this came in the kit. At, it held some of the embellishments, and I'm going to put a little clip of her hair that we saved from her first haircut, and I'm going to put that in that glassine bag so you can see through it, um, but it's just going to be kind of free-flowing in there. And um, I had a little scrap piece of paper there sitting on my desk, so I, it's a little triangle, so I put that behind the pictures as well, just a little accent there. I'm kind of going through my little tray of stuff I have on here to see if there's anything else I want to add, but nothing's really jumping out at me, and I don't know. I haven't, I'm have i just kind of like, mm. Um, I think I'm going to get some washi tape here, and I'm hitting my camera. I'm having issues with my camera right now to where I am 
I don't know. It seems like every time I turn my camera on, I have to move it closer to my desk for some reason for it to, and even though it's over my desk, you can still kind of like see my shirt and stuff. But I don't know. I'm just having issues. I had to get kind of a different setup because my, um, my camera usually screws into my tripod, but that part of my camera broke off. So I'm kind of, I had to rig it a little bit and now it's like every time I sit down, if I move my chair at all, I'm going to hit my, I'm going to hit my tripod. So it's kind of getting on my nerves. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to take it. <laughs> and I try really hard not to hit my camera because I don't want you guys to have to deal with that, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I used some glue dots to put down that glassing bag and then I used a little piece of washi tape for my stash to close it. And then I'm going to use some more glue dots here to put down this little resin bow that came in the kit. It's just a little tiny bow. So I'm going to stick that right on top there. And now I'm trying to decide what else I'm going to do. I'm going to use this bow on here as well to kind of mimic that bow there. And I think I'm going to use a few of these rub-ons here. And I'm really trying to use these rub-ons because these rub-ons are old. This kit is over a year old. And I was really nervous about the rub-ons at first because I was afraid they weren't going to go on. Because if you don't use rub-ons fairly quickly, they, you know, they'll lose their ability to actually rub on after a while. Um, so... I was able to use everything. Um, I just had to really press down hard. <laughs> so I'm also going to use this little XOXO here. And I believe that's it that I use for the rub-ons. And um, I'm just trying to see what else I want to use. I'm going to use a couple of these little... Um, flower kind of floral bloom enamel dots along with one in the center of that bow there. I'm going to go ahead and get my journaling done and it's going to be just what I told you that we waited a while because I was afraid of her curls not coming back but we got very lucky and they did. And then she asked me to pull out a Cinderella picture so she can color <laughs> so <laughs> I'm doing that for her. And yeah, this one just turned out very simple. I really didn't, by the time I was done, I really didn't feel the need to add anything else. And I just, I don't know. I think at this point I was actually kind of struggling with the kit a little bit because there was so little in it that it was hard to, to use it. And, you know, even though I did pull stuff from my stash, I still had a hard time. So, um, I don't know. I have kind of mixed feelings about this kit. <laughs> And I pulled out some stars here to use, but there's so many stars in the background, I just like, eh, I don't want to overkill it. So I put those back. I'm going to look at it here for a few minutes, and I'm just not quite sure if I feel like it's done yet, but then eventually I do say, okay, I'm done. So um, that's how simple it is. Very, very simple. I only have a few things on there, but it really highlights, you know, Layla and the hair and everything, and that's what I wanted it to do. So that's it. Thank you guys for joining me today. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll be back again real soon with some more layouts for you. Have a great day, guys. Bye.